Today, we're going to be discussing whether or not critical race theory is anti-white. Now, before we get into it, I want to talk about the heat that you've been getting because you are, you've come out very strongly mm -hmm. against the fact that it's anti-white and you've had, I mean, you've been getting attacked by it. I've seen it. I, I've seen the stuff, uh, the things really that badly. Yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty crazy how much people, um, when they get their worldview, uh, challenged, uh, mm -hmm. they get triggered. I mean, and it, it, it's a self-defense mechanism that is rooted in like our instincts. Like, we, you know, people, it's very difficult for most people to have a grasp on that because literally everyone has this problem, you know, when, until you learn to master that, until you recognize like, okay, I'm, I'm, this is like fight or flight. Like I'm getting that defense mechanism triggering. Why, why am I getting triggered? Oh, because these things that are, I know for a fact are, are being challenged, um, can be difficult to face. Now, I personally believe that it is anti-white. Um, I think that they have created white people as the boogeyman, as mm -hmm. the bad guy in the situation. And you believe that it is just simply racist towards yes. everyone, correct? Yes, I do. And, yep. and now here's the dilemma, right? Um, I agree with you, right? I agree. I do think that it is um, demeaning and, and towards you know, if they're, if they, they're claiming white people are, are superior, but then like the minorities are less than like how, I mean, that is just a demeaning thing to, to hear for anybody. Like exactly. if I was not a white man, which I am obviously a white man, whatever, mm -hmm. um, I would be offended. I'd be like, well, I'm not less than anyone. Like, and I don't, as a white person, a white man, I don't treat anyone as if they're lower than me. Cause that's, that's just uh, insulting. Like that's just not in that's my character. Racist. If, exactly. That's racist. Yeah. But then me saying that, I, I've I've seen this where if a if they say a white man like me says mm -hmm. I'm not racist, and that's that that's just I don't think the way that they are claiming that I do. That's I'm doesn't matter. I'm racist. I am well, inherently racist. Well, well, first off, I want to say, and um, I do want to just back up and give a little bit of history to this in a sure, second. Yeah. But I, I, I oh, yeah, we, start off. I kind of went off on a yeah. tangent. Please no, go ahead. No, it's okay. It's okay. Um, I want to start off by saying, like, I think the first mistake you're making is accepting mm -hmm. the premise of their arguments. I do not fundamentally believe mm. that we have any obligation to accept the premise of their arguments. Listen, I've got a big old dictionary, like a print dictionary from the 1990s sitting on my floor that has yeah. the definition of racism. And Can it you looks get that? Like, yeah. Read, read it out for us. Let's let's see what the definition of racism big in 1990s. Classic. Look at that thing. Dictionary. You know, someone actually, someone actually sent me one of those. An yeah. older Webster's dictionary from the past that's like, you know, one of my Before supporters they're gonna start changing words or one of my, yeah one of my supporters sent me this um a, a couple weeks ago and shout out shout out to ken i appreciate ken um and because i talked about wanting a big old like dictionary that i could look up old definitions and hang on i'm trying to find racism um, Take your time, it's all good yeah but i think that you know we don't like the first mistake i think people make in this subject is that we accept the premise of the arguments that we're making we are under no obligation to accept the premise of the arguments that they're making in fact every single time we do accept the premise of the arguments that they're making we mm -hmm. hand them a win and i think you know really high level i think what people need to understand is there are a lot of people talking about critical race theory right now there okay. are a lot of people making a lot of money talking about critical race theory right now. It's an $8 billion a year industry. Yeah. And, and so like- $8 but, billion. But, dollars. but I started, I started looking into this stuff and trying to understand this stuff two years ago when like my knitting world got turned upside down by social justice and I wanted right. to understand what it was. And I had started seeing it because I work in the HR space. I had started seeing it like really come into the big HR conferences and stuff like that. And I was trying to like understand it. So I've been doing this for two years. And I think what people need to understand for like really high level is that my motivation is not to be a pundit talking about critical race theory forever. Okay. My motivation is to defeat critical race theory. That is the goal. I want to be able to defeat critical race theory so I can go back and do my old job. Like I'm really good at my old job, but I can't yeah. do it right now because it's I'm existing in this environment of insanity where it's infected everything. 
And yeah. so that's my goal. Everything that I have worked towards for the past two years, and especially in the last year or so, is working towards this goal of doing whatever I can to defeat critical race theory. So just to lay a baseline for anyone that might be confused about whether or not I support critical race theory or I oppose it, I absolutely oppose it. Anyone yeah. who said I have supported it in any way is a liar and doesn't know what they're talking about. Why would anyone say that? I mean, if they listen to anything you talk about, it, it's very obvious that you're very much against critical race theory. Well, I think that's a very good question. And I think that's a question for all the people who have made videos of me with a clown face and talking about how I don't even know what critical race theory is when they have to look it up in the Encyclopedia Britannica. But okay, so the definition of, okay, hang on. Hang on. I found race. I just, okay, racism. Racism, okay. according to this dictionary, is a doctrine or teaching without scientific support that claims to find racial differences in character, intelligence, et cetera, that asserts the superiority of one race over another or others, and that seeks to maintain the supposed purity of a race or races. And then the second definition is any program or practice of racial discrimination, segregation, et cetera, based on such beliefs. Okay. That's the definition I'm working with. So on that definition though, right? So yeah. in it, it says, choosing uh, like saying that one race is superior than another right yes does critical race theory not choose white people as that race well Does, yeah doesn't but that, it say that that's yes. the the ones that are the the one then they're like we have to acknowledge that like that is the problem so it in does. that definition right it's saying that white people are the problem Yes, it's saying it's saying that white people are inherently superior or believe that they are superior or the norm to mm -hmm. every other race. But that doesn't make it anti-white. That makes it anti-everyone else. Right. And and here's the thing is I'm but it's not making gonna, them the bad guy, though. That's really what where, how I see it. I mean, if you had to choose the if you had to choose between being the most powerful person or being the weakest person, which would you choose? But you're looking at it from just one direction, though. You're, you're saying that. No. Yeah, you're saying that it's saying that they're the the superior race right mm -hmm. but from a different perspective it could be seen as they're the problem they're the reason we're here it's their fault Critical the race. blame is is them but you made a good point actually just a minute ago mm -hmm. by me saying this i'm giving justification to their arguments right yeah so i'm basically saying well you know i'm i'm acknowledge i'm even acknowledging you where mm -hmm. instead I should be like, you're, you're absolutely, you're everything about what you're saying is wrong. Peace out. Get out of my face. You know. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, paraphrase something that James Lindsay said at his critical race theory workshop in Tampa, Florida. And this is, by the way, something I have discussed with both James Lindsay and Chris Rufo, and yeah. they're, they're they're on my side. Um, but what James Lindsay said, um, and again, I'm paraphrasing this. This is not an exact. You just quote. had to slip that they're on your side. That's fine. It's it, they're not here right now. That's all right. They're the, all right. they're the big guns. We all know it. They're the kings. Yeah, well, um, they're not here right now. It's you okay. and me right now. Okay. But what James Lindsay said at his critical race theory workshop in Tampa is that while there are absolutely anti-white components to critical race theory, it's actually okay. like the least interesting part of it. And if you're focusing on those components, you are missing a much bigger picture of what is going on with critical race theory or why critical race theory is dangerous. Now, let me ask you this, Adam. Do you say Black Lives Matter or All Lives Matter? Um, I, I say both. I mean, when someone says black lives matter, I said, of course they do. Yes. And then they're like, do you all lives matter? Of course they do. Like okay. all, all lives matter. So it's like, I, when you hear black lives matter, it's like, well, yeah, of course. Like, duh. That's so I exactly say both. Right. That's exactly right. So okay. if by that logic, then you would have to say critical race theory is racist. It's just racist. Because it is racist. White, white is included. I in agree. That. I agree. White that is included racist. in that. Black is included in that. Hispanic is included in that. Asian is included in that. Because I never, race I never is racist disagreed with everyone. that side of it, though. I well, agree. Then why I know is everyone it. so pissed that I'm saying critical race theory is racist instead because of critical race theory is anti-white? Because in my, because in my, the... in my world, mm -hmm. that's that's just like saying all lives matter 
as opposed to just Black Lives Matter. Because yes, of course I believe that Black Lives Matter, but I believe that every they don't matter any more or less than anyone else. And every single time we put the anti-white aspects of this at the mm -hmm. forefront, and again, if you're focusing on the anti-white aspects, you are missing a much bigger and much broader picture that is much more it. troublesome. But any when That's you're, when not you're what focusing, I'm focusing on. No, 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 I don't think you are, but I'm trying to explain. If you're mm -hmm. if you're putting all the emphasis on those attributes, you are fundamentally saying that every other way in which critical race theory is racist is of lesser importance. And I don't believe that's true. And in fact, I think that's a pretty racist perspective. Okay. Uh, well, I 100% agree with you that critical race theory is a division. It is, it's, it's terrible for mm -hmm. everybody. And it's, it's pitting us all against each other. But when I mean, this is something you broke. You you broke the Coca Cola story because uh, yeah. someone came to you. They didn't say try to be less black, try to be less Hispanic. They said try to be less white. Yeah. So like, how how do we do that? Like, how does that and not make? Uh, I mean, I see what you're saying, you know. And well, but I think you're missing the point that I was making earlier. It's like we are the mm -hmm. boogeyman. I'm the boogeyman to these people. Like people that aren't white that succumb to critical race theory look at me now and say that's the that's the problem it's this person well, Sil yeah. white silence is is both violence and also you know and you just accepted their we're not we're not allowed to speak well yeah but i mean it, but, but i also think they I, I also think yeah well yes well it's not being taught in this in school in the way that you think though like so and so yeah i think you're missing my premise that it's mm -hmm. not as though there there are no anti-white components to it it's that those aren't even the most interesting things and the and and adam you still haven't answered the question if you have to choose what? between being the most powerful person or the okay. least powerful person which are you going to choose um i mean it's you know it most people would pick the most powerful person exactly like, right i mean according to critical race want to be powerful according right? to critical race theory this is not my definition this is their okay. definition according to critical race theory white people are the most powerful people in all of society and no one who is non-white can succeed unless the white people get out of the way and deal with their inherent racism and let them succeed that's i think insane. that's incredibly racist i that's think it is so incredibly racist, racist uh, absolutely. to teach children like young black four five six seven eight year old children mm -hmm. that they cannot succeed in life unless white people allow them to i think that's incredibly racist and the fact yeah. of the matter is is that critical race theory actually loves white people who agree with it they love white people who is the queen bee of critical race theory robin d'angelo robin d'angelo what what race is robin d'angelo white white woman very very white they love white people who agree with it Critical she said race some theory. crazy racist stuff too oh, and yeah. i've heard her say the craziest things like they what? have made her a multi-millionaire they love her so much they have put millions of dollars in her pocket because yeah. she agrees with the ideology at the end of the day critical race theory is actually anti anyone who disagrees with it the most Good that's point. who it hates the most and okay, like and i you agree can, with you that you can look at this article from like the washington post back in january it talked about multiracial whiteness every single or the the la times article last week larry elder. About, about larry, larry elder, elder being a white supremacist the black and, face of white supremacy it's yeah like and and, wow. And I actually got into an, uh, a little debate on your on your Twitter feed with someone who was saying, well, this is a clear example of it being anti-white. Well, no, I'm sorry. Telling a strong, powerful black man that he is a white supremacist because he doesn't act like a like you think a black man should act, that's mm -hmm. incredibly racist. And that's not anti-white racism. That's anti-black racism. I'm sorry. 